What's up guys, Wilson here and as you can see behind me we have two brand new Porsche Taycans and both of them are getting Spectra Photosync IRD window film which essentially is the best heat blocking window film that there is in this entire industry. So what I want to do today for this vlog is actually do some readings and to show the performance difference with Spectra Photosync and with the Porsche Insulated Thermoplast. Now, we use this film exclusively for all of our hypercars and supercars that comes through here, but it's even more important for the electric cars because as you know, electric cars has a certain amount of range and for the Taycans that is about 200 miles before it needs to be charged. Now with Spectra Photosync during the summer months, it will block out a huge amount of heat and during the winter months, it will help insulate heat inside the car so that you will no longer have to blast your air conditioning or turn up your heater, which drains the range and electric in the battery. So what I have here today is the EDTM Spectrum Analyzer. Basically, this is the best professional tool and an expensive one that it added uh, that can read the performance of the window film that we are measuring. So why don't we do that today and see the difference between the thermal glass and versus Spectra Photosync IRD. So first off, for those wondering how you could tell whether the glass has the thermal option is if you look closely, you can actually see that line of where the insulated film is. Basically, a piece of film is being sandwiched in between two pieces of glass to attain some heat blocking performance. Let's turn on the spectrum analyzer. So the numbers that we will be looking at are within these two blocks over here. Basically, uh, this middle block over here shows the IR transmittance or infrared radiation transmittance between 900 to 1000 nanometers. The top block actually shows the same up to 1700 nanometers. So for example, this number that we are looking at here, the number 19, is showing that 19% of IR is being transmitted through the glass. So essentially that is telling us that this glass blocks out 81% of the infrared radiation produced by the sun. So that's actually pretty good performance for the thermal glass. Next, let's take a look at this window right here. This has Spectra Photosync IRD 55%, which is a mid-range shade. So the first part, this block over here up to 1,000 nanometers, it is blocking 100% of the infrared radiation uh, that will be produced from the sun. Up to 1,700 nanometers, this is blocking 98% of the uh, IR uh, radiation. So that is very telling as to why we use this film and shows the performance of this film as well. One thing to note is that if you look at the specs from Prestige Film Technologies, Spectra Photosync blocks out uh, IR up to 2200 nanometers at about 98 to 99%. This device over here reads the performance of the film only up to 1700 nanometers. So the performance of uh, Spectra Photosync far exceeds standards that can be measured with this tool, which is why Time after time when we measure this film against all other manufacturers, this comes off on top. So this is the absolute best that you can get. All right, so we have finally moved both Taycans out into the sun. It is currently reading in the upper 80s as far as temperature goes in Fahrenheit. And what we'll be doing today is placing these thermometers under the glass on both of these Taycans directly under the rear glass. Now currently you see that there is a timer in there. So what we'll be doing is placing the thermometers right next to it and get some readings between both of these cars. Now do keep in mind that both of these cars have Porsche's thermal insulated glass option. It's just that this one has Photosync IRD 55% on top of it. So doing this will give a direct comparison between both cars and seeing how the thermal insulated glass versus the addition of Photosync 55 will do under these types of conditions. So let's get this started.
All right, now that we have the numbers from the first test, we will be applying SpectraPhotoSync IRD 30% onto this Tycon, move it right back into the sun and run some more tests. Once we get all of the numbers, we will do a direct comparison. So stay tuned. guys we finally have spectra photosync ird 30 percent applied to this tycon now the test that we were doing today should have some pretty interesting results because the outdoor temperature right now is already into the low 90s as you may recall from the test we did yesterday we started out in the mid 80s so with today's increase in temperature it will be interesting to see what the results would be so let's get this started All right, the test results are in and the numbers are quite interesting. As you may recall at the beginning of the first set of tests, the temperature was 87 degrees. When we did the test the following day for PhotoSync 30, it had risen to 90 degrees, which was a bit warmer. I do want to note that we placed the thermometers under the rear glass purely for the ease of recording an area that is directly being exposed to the sun. If we put the thermometers under any other area inside the car, it will definitely show a different set of results. So with that said, let's see the numbers for this test. At the first five minute marker, the area under the thermal insulated glass had reached 108 degrees, which was a whopping 21 degree increase. For PhotoSync 55, it read 94 and 93 for PhotoSync 30, which was a mere three degree increase. At 10 minutes under the insulated glass, it read 126 degrees, 102 for PhotoSync 55, and 97 for PhotoSync 30. Now at the 15 minute marker, that's where things got interesting because under the insulated glass, it had reached over 130 degrees. And when that happened, the timer screen actually melted and blacked out. So I actually had to go back to the video footage to timestamp the area uh, when it hit 15 minutes, which reached 138 degrees. For PhotoSync 55, it read 109, and for PhotoSync 30, it read 103. At the 20 minute mark, the insulated glass area reached 147 degrees, 113 for PhotoSync 55 and 107 for PhotoSync 30. Now one thing I did for PhotoSync 30 that I did not do for the other tests is that once I realized that the number were still quite low, I decided to let the camera run for another 10 minutes, which eventually hit 113 degrees as you can see. So what do all of these numbers tell us? What the numbers show us is that with Spectra PhotoSync, whether you're using it as a standalone product or applying it on top of Porsche's thermal insulated glass, it provides a match heat rejection, greatly reducing the amount of heat you feel inside the car and the heat buildup that is normally there on really hot days. What the numbers also show us is that when these cars are parked outside in 90 plus degree weather, it gets extremely hot. So no matter what product you have on these cars, please don't ever leave children and pets unattended in them. With that said, I want to thank you guys for watching another one of our videos. I look forward to sharing our next one with you. But until then, please subscribe and follow us. Stay safe, stay cool, and I'll see you later.